All right, folks, we're in a uh, beta race here, getting our first green cones. I'm just watching these riders. So this is the front of the race. You can see S. Janiki just got it. Now let's see. Oh, we got another one. Hey, look at that. Bath salt's got the cone. Very good. We like to see that. Bath salt is a <laughs> notorious sandbagger. All right, good to see you. Front of the race. Is the whole front of the race coned at this point? Yep, looks like they are. If you go further back, we're seeing a lot more cones back here. Now let's see if we if it slows down the riders much. You can see this rider here is putting out a good amount of wattage, but staying up with the group at the same time. Let's see if they're going to drop back or not. This is the front group. This one rider here has managed to not get coned. Even though they're obviously holding some pretty high power, they must be must be drafting pretty efficiently. This rider got lapped. This is the chasing group. So there's a few up ahead, and then there's these chasers. So there's two questions here, right? One question is, are the triggers set at the right spot? We want them to be able to catch those who are out of category, but not catch, not catch those who are legit riders in that category. But then obviously there's the second thing, and that is how much does it slow them down once they've been coned? How, how non-aero is the green cone of shame? You can see these, these riders are still, still hanging in with this front group, it appears. We've got three coned riders here in, this, in the big group. Now, are they working as hard as the other ones? Well, that's hard to say. So we've definitely got a lot of cones here in this feed group, but what I'm noticing is it it doesn't seem to slow them down quite enough. This is a good example. This rider has been basically soloing uh, in second place for several laps. I think the group might be slowly catching them, but uh, it seemed to me that once you get combed, you shouldn't be able to solo ahead of a group of several riders when that group has a lot of legit riders in it. It does look like they're going to catch him soon, though. If we scroll back here, this is the, now where to go, this is the group that's chasing him, which has uh, one cone in it, but a handful of riders who don't have cones. Well, I guess it's got two cones in it. Anyway, they're going to be reeling him in finally after several laps. My thinking is just by watching this this one race, and of course these are just test settings, but it seems to me that probably they need to throttle the speeds a little bit more for cone riders. All right, I'm testing out the one minute power to see if it'll cone me fairly quickly if I'm holding pretty high power. 
Let's find out. Yes, we did it. We ratcheted your power back. And my power actually get ratcheted back, so it's not showing different wattage. Now it's hiding my watts per kilo in the rider list. I'd say it's slowing me down, just not sure how much. Here's something interesting. This rider has been soloing in first for several laps. This sure seems like his power is over what would be the trigger point. It seems like it's been over 4.0 the whole time. I wonder if he's running Zwift on a, an old version of Zwift. It doesn't have the new controls in it. It would be interesting to find out. We're going to have to look at his overall power and the finishing numbers. I finished the race and looked at the results, but the results aren't displaying any of the green cones. So I know for a fact some of these riders were coned. Here's this rider that I was wondering about who should have been coned, 4.4 watts per kilo, but was not thinking it's a Zwift version issue. But a lot of these riders here in the front had cones, but as you can see, they're not indicated anywhere on this list. So that would definitely definitely need to be fixed. Uh, I would think you would not even want to rank them in the list, but if nothing else, at least indicate their cone status.